The following Different Brains content was funded in part by the Community Foundation of Broward and support from people like you. Hey everyone, welcome to Different Brains. I am your host, Harrison, and you're watching The Week in Neurodiversity. In this episode, we will be looking at exciting breakthrough in diagnosis of autism. The FDA has just approved a device called the Early Point Evaluation that uses eye tracking to help diagnose autism. It's, it's a, a kid's chair, like in a car. He watches this video and they watch his eyes the whole time. And they show us afterwards that the things that he is looking at look pretty sporadic compared to a typical kid. Normally, doctors diagnose patients using a series of tests, interviews, and their own observations. But with this device, doctors can measure and compare how a child focuses on social cues, like hand gestures or facial expressions. While the average age of autism diagnosis in the U.S. is between four and five years old, studies have shown that early point evaluation accurately diagnosed autism as early as 16 months. The goal in getting in under the age of three is that um, we can help and children with autism to grow and thrive at any age. But if we can identify children before the age of three, the brain is more plastic. It's more amenable to the positive beneficial effects of early intervention. It truly is about getting your child the help that they need to be successful. That's all for today's episode. Let us know what you think of this new technology in the comments below. And don't forget to follow us. Thanks for watching and remember, you keep advocating and we'll keep bringing the news.